In this video, we will learn about what is a pictograph and why and how do we use pictograph. Like every year, the school also has an annual festival this year. All the children have participated in various programs. Babban, the main organizer of the program, has a data table, which has the names of children and which programs they have participated in. This entire information is recorded here. Babban has to arrange chairs according to the number of children participating in each program. Every child has participated in many programs according to this table. Now I cannot understand how many children have participated in which program. Appu was passing by there. Seeing Babban upset, Appu asked him, what happened, Babban? Why are you so upset? Babban said, I have to get chairs according to how many children have participated in each program. But I am not able to find it by looking at this table. There are only a few hours left to start the program. Appu said, Don't worry, Babban. I will tell you a simple way to do this. Appu saw Babban's table and drew two lines like this on a paper. He first wrote down the names of all the programs near the lower line. Now, Appu once again looked at Babban's table and made some symbols of faces on top of the names of each program and told Babban, Look Babban, you can find out how many children have participated in each program with the help of this pictograph. Babban could not understand anything. What is a pictograph, Appu? And how can I use it? Appu laughed. He told Babban, This is also a way to show information, Babban. Just like we enter information by writing numbers in the table, we can also show information by using pictographs. And... It is very easy to create this. But uh, Appu, why did you make this pictograph when we have the table? Look Babban, sometimes it can take us a long time to understand the numbers written in the table and draw some kind of conclusion from it. Just like you were feeling now. Then, we can use the pictograph to get information quickly. And you know, the pictograph looks very beautiful too. Come, first let me teach you how to make this. See, I have written the names of the programs on a horizontal line. Then, I counted the symbols made under the singing program in your table and drew equal number of faces on top of the singing program in my pictograph. But what are these faces, Appu? I have used the symbol of a face here to show every child participating in the program. You can use any symbol. Now, see in your table and tell me how many faces should I make 
about the dance program? Babban looked at his table and immediately said, Three faces. Well done, Babban. You understood. Now, take this pictograph and tell me, which program has the most children participating in it? Children, can you see this pictograph and tell which program has the maximum number of children participating in it? If you want, you can stop the video and find the answer. The tallest line here is of seven faces, which are placed on top of the play program. This means that maximum number of children have participated in the play. Babban got very excited. He said to Apu, Wow Apu, this is so interesting. Just by seeing the height of these lines made by the faces, I can immediately find out which program has the maximum number of children and which program has the least number of children? Appu laughed and said, Come, let's quickly make the preparations. There is only a little time left for the program to start. Babban thanked Appu and started his work. In this video, we learned about what is a pictograph and why and how do we use a pictograph? In the next video, we will learn more about the pictograph.